Um, this is Zach again. I'm going to talk to you about hooks, sinkers, and blades, and beads, and stuff like that. Just your terminal tackle. Um, now as you can see, I have a lot of tackle boxes on this top shelf. I have about five more up there. I don't like them at all compared to these. These are the Falcon FTO series, if you can see it on the box here. Falcon FTO 500. This is a specifically is designed. There's specific ones: shallow cranks, deep cranks, medium cranks, top water uh, rattle straps, hook and sinkers. I have what's the other one I have out there? A uh, bastard. And it holds. It's one third of the size of a regular um, box. And that bass jig one holds 36 bass jigs. The only thing I don't like about the bass jigs one is that it doesn't hold football jigs. Like, you can slide three-quarter ounce football jigs in, like, a little angle, and they fit. But, like, my two one-ounce ones that I have in there do not fit. But anyway, this is the hook and sinkers one and other stuff. Just terminal tackle. Um, I got um, 100 5-millimeter chartreuse speeds. Um, in that one, I have, like, an 11 pack that I just got of number four treble hooks. These are small catfish, or if you're replacing, large crankbait uh, treble hooks. I'm just going to go up and down the rows here. I have number two, number three, and number four. Um, Gamakatsu extra wide gap worm hook. Some are standard. There's a it's a 25 pack. These right here are super line. There's two packs of super line and three packs of standard. Um, that is a good set right there. I could just bought it. I just got it. Um, these are the Bass Pro uh, flathead jigs. Bass Pro makes them. It's not a special company. Then you have your um, round minnow head jigs right here. Now don't forget, I have more hooks and stuff in those crappy tackle boxes. I have another one dedicated to sinkers and another one dedicated to hooks. But the when you put the spit dividers in, they don't go all the way down to the bottom of the box. And the hooks slide under them. It's just a big mess. Um, here I have number... Two Gamakatsu um, uh, octopus hooks. I use these for saltwater, just not this size, just a lot bigger size. For stripers, I use circle hook, the octopus circle hooks for stripers. Uh, bluefish, I usually use a standard, just straight hook. This is the number f uh, five uh, five slash L. If you're gonna buy Gamakatsu octopus hook, you can use those for ice fishing northerns. This is a Bait weight right here comes in a lot. You get a lot in one pack. Um, if you need to put bait, uh, weight to your bait. Well, yeah, weight to your bait, bait weight. Um, if your bait's too light and you don't want to put a sinker on it, you slide this in the head of it. It has a point on it. It will go through um like a minnow skin or wax worm skin. But it won't go through your skin. It, if you push hard enough, it hurts. It'll start to hurt, but it does, it's not bad. Um, I have dimpled copper color number three Colorado blades. And I have chartreuse colored, now dimpled Colorado blades. You can use those for making walleye um, rigs, bluegill rigs, if you want to put them, then put it flash. I didn't realize when I bought these that these don't have, they don't reflect light. They're not the glass ones. It didn't say if they're glass or plastic, but I bought them, and they are not glass, so they're not going to reflect like that. So I'm probably going to put a Colorado blade right next to the hook or lure with these. You use these to make bluegill rigs, and it'll give it flash. Those will just, the bees will just give it noise. Um, these are 1 16th ounce bullet weights. These are... One eighth bullet weight, and this is a diamond um, uh, looking drop shot with finesse weight. If you look, I don't know if you can see because this camera is not high quality, 
you're not gonna be able to see. But what it is is for the where you put the line. Instead of putting a snap swivel or tying a new um tying a new knot to it every time, you tie a knot at the end of the line, there's a bigger part down here, and you slide it through there and you slide through, push up, will pull down on the thing, you push up on the line, and it goes into this little slit, and you pull tight, and the hook, and, and you don't need to keep retying hooks, you just keep it like that, you're ready to fish, you know, that's as simple as it is, I probably made it really complicated, because I just got them, and sort of know what I'm talking about, but, I have two compartments, this is one set of the same kind, it comes with like 50 three quarter ounce bullet weights. I don't know how I lose these, but I lose them. When I'm changing uh from a worm when I'm changing rubber to a uh, crankbait, I'll be changing on a dock or something, and my luck they roll in the water and they sink. Yeah, that's just my luck. Alright, but and then for muskies, northerns, walleye, um your fish with teeth, no don't use these for trout now. Unless you're going for lake trout, you know, big trout. So these are offshore angler. I took the top off where it would be a 45 pound test. It has a barrel swivel and then a snap on the other side. That, and here's one. I have it out of the package to show you. Here's the barrel swivel. You would tie it to your line. Okay, a leader, steel leader, wire leader, and then it comes to the snap. Alright, that is my terminal tackle right now. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe. I'll have some websites up if you want to buy this stuff. Alright, bye.